for able to offer. And for this we say thank you very much. It would be unfair, however, not to applaud the efforts of the University of the West Indies for introducing introductory courses pertaining to Calypso and Calypso band arranging, and UCT's interest in going a step further. Documentation. The last requirement of this course was the submission of a paper or project. Let me remind you, my fellow graduates, that this exercise is quite valuable. Let me appeal to you to recognize the intrinsic value of documentation and academia. For the Calypso that we spend all our lives loving and quote unquote worshiping will come to naught one day if we do not document and properly archive, whether it be medium of film, written publication, or audio recordings. Reggae music coming out of Jamaica got a jump on Calypso several years ago by amassing a wide range of publications. However, we must still applaud the efforts of writers like J. Dr. J.D. Elder, Dr. Hollis Liverpool, Dr. Gordon Rowley, John Cowley, Dr. Louis Regis, and others. The reality is that they will not live forever and need to be replaced eventually. As a result, we must thank Dr. Liverpool and the Ministry of Community Development, Culture and Gender Affairs for having the foresight to seek out such lack in the Calypso at home and addressing it. Where do we go from here? Most of my colleagues in this graduating class are already discussing follow-up courses. Some have already started assembling groups, utilizing individuals who participated in this course with the hope of acquiring financial support, among other things, to get follow-up projects started. Some of us, as a result of this course, have already begun participating in other courses. Some related to this one, others not. Some graduates are even excited to try their hands at the difficult task of judging. One particular participant or graduate has promised a biography on Calypsonian Chalky. So to my fellow graduates, keep exploring and recording your exploits. Be always reviewing the knowledge gained here. Use it. Master it with the intent to pass it on to your friends, spouses, and especially the children of our schools and communities. You see, our youth have been made products of the quote-unquote carnival soca opium, here now and gone tomorrow. They are forced to seek refuge in the local reggae industry. Not that I do not applaud artists like Prophet Benjamin and others for their enlightening lyrics. But Calypso lyrics has always been part of this same experience. To the organizers, good stuff. Like any teaching course, improvements must be sought. Let me end my recommendation with a true scenario. And I'll try to get it right. Early in the 1990s, the University of the West Indies embarked on its music with PAN certificate program hoping to attract fan men, with whom they hoped to pass on the skills of reading music. Some fan men accepted the invitation. However, interestingly, it appears that the intake of teachers eventually doubled or tripled the number of fan men, especially after the music degree program was instituted. In fact, this program is now dominated by teachers. You know what? It is no surprise that the young fan men of today who are rapidly replacing the older ones are the benefactors of the music in school program taught by the same teachers who attend this school. So may I suggest to you that teachers be an integral part of the student makeup of this course in the future. After all, our facilitator himself and minister was part of the teaching fraternity. 
In closing, first let me thank God for giving us the health, strength, wisdom, knowledge, and courage to successfully complete this program. I would like to thank the ministry, the minister and the ministry of community development, culture and gender affairs for, for overlooking and organizing this course. We also thank the Community Development Fund for the financial support and SUPO for all its input and assistance. To our families from whom we spent many Sundays apart, biting into their family time, we say a special thank you. To those who did an excellent job in ensuring the smooth day, -day running of the port, Mr. Rogers, the song Ms. Candice Swan, Mrs. Pat Henderson Brown, Dr. Lansky, and Dr. Reginald Griffith, we thank you. We also need to thank Mr. Ainsley Lockley for sharing his knowledge of law, Mr. Eugene Joseph for stage positioning advice, Mr. Bunny Charles and Mr. Knox for sharing their knowledge in playing the guitar. We thank all of those who came out this afternoon to celebrate with us. And of course, I left for last Dr. Hollis Liverpool for not only making us much more knowledgeable persons today, but also for doing it with patience, joy, passion, and in a most caring way. Once again, we say to you from our hearts, thank you. And in ending, maybe we can say, hip hip. Yeah. Hip, hip. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'd like to invite.